Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to show you how I make my homemade chili powder. Now this is a very simple process and it's very fun to prepare. I think it is. And today I'm going to show you how I make it step by step. Let's get started. So these are the ingredients that I'm going to be using today to make my chili powder. I have four chile guajillos right here. See? And I have four chile ancho. Now I have removed all the seeds and the veins from inside, as you can see, and they're nice and clean. Now I rinsed them really well and I let them out to dry a couple of days ago. So they're ready to go. You want to make sure that they're nice and clean because they come really dusty sometimes. I'm going to be using two tablespoons of cumin seed, one and a half tablespoons of onion powder, two tablespoons of garlic powder, one tablespoon of Mexican oregano, and one and a half teaspoons of sweet paprika. And this is freshly ground sweet paprika. So now that I showed you all my ingredients, I'm going to show you how I clean my chiles. Now in this bag, I've got some chile ancho. And here I've got some chile guajillo. Now I usually keep these in the freezer. This way you can make sure that no bugs or anything are going to get in them. See? Now this is the brand that I'm using, Mi Costeñita. But there's other brands. You know, and I think they're all good. Now, some of you know how to clean these out and remove the seeds, and some of you don't. So I'm going to show you how I do it. You always want to remove the stem right here, you see? And you want to just tear it off. And if you can't tear it off, you can use your scissors. And then you want to open it up, or you can use your scissors like this. See? And just cut through it all the way to the tip. And then... Look at the seeds. See, you want to remove all the seeds. And as you can see, this one is real soft. These are the ones I like because I feel like they're real nice and fresh and they smell so good. By the way, these are dried poblano peppers. Every now and then, you know, you get one that has a little kick, but most of the time they're very mild. I like the combination of ancho chiles and guajillos because I like the flavor of the chili powder but you can use any combination that you like. Seeds removed. And what you wanna do is you wanna go rinse it really well and then just let them dry until they're totally dry before you dehydrate them. Now with a chile guajillo, it's the same thing. You wanna cut off the little stem and you can go in there with your scissors or you can just split it open with your hands. Now, if you wanna wear gloves, you go ahead and do that because sometimes, you know, your hands will you will feel the heat in your hands and then you don't want to rub your eyes or anything. So it's safer if you wear gloves. I'm so used to doing this and it doesn't bother me, but you wear gloves if you want to be safe. You want to remove all these veins and the chiles like this. These will be hard to blend in the blender. So you want to make sure that you remove them. And like I said, I like to remove all the seeds. I think the seeds are bitter. And if you blend them with your chiles, then you're going to have just a little bit of that bitterness in there. And you want it to be just perfect. So now that you've seen this step, we can go to our next step. So I cleaned up my area and now I'm ready to dehydrate my chiles in the oven. So I like to open them up and just lay them on the rack like this. Now there's other ways of dehydrating chiles. You can use a dehydrator. You can cut them up into pieces and just flip them around on a skillet over your stove top. But I like to do it like this because it's so easy. I can just stick them in the oven and I go off and do something else. But you can choose the method that you like. So I open up the chiles and I just lay them like this on my rack. Now I like to use the rack because the heat gets to circulate all the way around. And that's what we want. I've got my heat set on 175. After 30 minutes, I like to take the rack out and I like to just flip them around just because I want to do that, see? And then I'll check them. Now, when they're flexible like this, they usually take about two hours. But when they're nice and crisp, they may take about an hour, an hour and a half, just depends. So you want to keep an eye on them and just check them until they're real dry and they snap really nice. So my oven is preheated at 175. I'm going to put them in in the center of the oven for two hours and I'll see you then. So my timer just went off 
My chiles are nice and warm. I just took them out of the oven and they're nice and dry. So I'm gonna show you what I do next. So I'm gonna get my chiles and I'm gonna break them up into pieces right here. Can you hear that? I'm gonna break them up in this bowl. See, that's gonna be a lot easier to grind when they're nice and dry like this. That's why I think it's fun. So now that I have them all broken up into pieces like this, I'm gonna put them in my little chopper. Now you can use a food processor, but it's gonna be a lot more dishes and stuff. So I think it's just easier to put them in here. I'm gonna put them in this little cup. See how it goes down? Now I'm gonna add the rest in here. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So now that I have this done, now we can go to the stove because I'm gonna toast my cumin. And I've got my heat set on low. I'm gonna add my cumin in here. Now you don't want it really hot. I'm gonna be moving them around like this and when I can smell them really well, then I know they're ready. Oh, these smell wonderful. So these are ready. I'm gonna turn off my heat and now we can go back to the grinder. Now I've got my cumin nice and toasted and I'm gonna be using my Mr. Coffee coffee grinder. Now there's other kinds of coffee grinders like this one that I use when I grind spices of different kinds. This one where I do my cinnamon, you know, you just find you one that works well. Now I like this one because it's a little bit bigger and I'm able to fit a little bit more in here, but you can, you know, pick the one that you like. Now I'm going to add everything in here. There are my dried chiles. Here's my cumin. Now this coffee grinder takes it all the way up to 12 cups and it also has a coarse, medium and fine. Now I have my oregano right here. I'm gonna add my oregano in there and I'm gonna grind it up. And this is ready. It looks perfect. I'm gonna put it into my measuring cup and I want you to look at how beautiful it is. Look at this. I'm gonna put it in here. You wanna make sure that you get it all because this is good stuff. Now I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients. Here's my garlic powder. Here's my onion powder. and my sweet paprika. I'm gonna mix it up really good like this. And that's good. It looks beautiful and it smells wonderful. So I'm gonna be putting it into this jar right here. And I've got this wide mouth funnel. This is the one I use when I can tomatoes. And I'm gonna use this little sieve so I'm gonna pass it through the sieve into my jar and just do the best you can. Now it can get a little messy as you can see, but you're gonna have the best chili powder. And that's it. See, there's hardly any bits, but if there are, you can just discard them. Now that I have it in my jar, I'm just gonna seal it up nice and tight like this and here is your freshly made chili powder. Now I've got these others here and I wanted to show them to you. Like this one right here is my homemade paprika. Look at how beautiful this is. And I made this May 18th. Now I don't make a lot of it because I think it loses its potency in about six months and I want it to be fresh. I've got this one right here has chili de arbol. So this one is a little hot. 
Now this one right here has cayenne pepper in here and this one is nice and spicy and I'll know when to use this one. Now if I were to use this chili powder to make enchilada sauce, I wouldn't want any chipotle smoky flavor in here and I wouldn't want any chile de arbol either. This is neutral because the chile ancho and the chile guajillo that we put in here are very mild. Now I'm gonna put a link below to my video where I show you all about chiles and I show them to you and I tell you which one is hot, which one is sweet, which one isn't, and you're gonna see it pop up right here on the screen. Now when it pops up on the screen, you can just tap on it right there and it's gonna take you straight to that video. This way you'll be able to watch that video and you'll learn all about the chiles and you'll be able to play around with them and you can do whatever. And then you're gonna have the best chili powder and you'll never wanna go to the store and buy any again. So this is my homemade chili powder. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. Thank you.